On this day in 1947, two years after the capitulation of the United States of America, the bloody struggle was finally and comprehensively won. I want you to imagine a very different version of America. Hey, Harry. Sing Hail. Sing Hail. It's 1962. The United States no longer exists after the Allied defeat in World War II. My first time on American soil since the war. Much has changed. The country is divided, with Nazi Germany controlling the East Coast. Welcome to the Reich. The Empire of Japan occupying the West. This is our world now, and it is our duty to protect it. And a neutral zone in between. I'd be more worried about myself if I leave. I'm Stephen Root. And this is the world of the man in the high castle. You ever think how different life could be if you could change just one thing? The incomparable Philip K. Dick has brought us such works as Minority Report and Total Recall. Now, his most thought-provoking book, The Man in the High Castle, is an Amazon original series that has garnered widespread critical acclaim. Hitler's death is a trigger. For what? An uprising. And captivated millions of viewers around the world amid the backdrop of our modern political climate. Each one of these films show a reality like ours, but not. In the next half hour, we're going to explore this amazing story to get you ready for the upcoming season and give you a sneak preview of season three. But before we begin, here are some important facts about this incredible story. Have your people worked out what's going on yet? Because I have. Number one, in the first season, Hitler is alive and the leader of the Reich. But here's the twist. He's not the most dangerous man in the party. He's had the put judgment to maintain peace with the Japanese. His health is failing. He's got Parkinson's. His hands shake like shit. How much longer do you think he's got? I don't know, a year? Six months tops. And once he dies, a faction of the Nazis wants to annihilate the Japanese and take over the world. They've dropped a bomb before. And they won't hesitate to drop it again. Then there will be war. Number two, there's the resistance an underground group of freedom fighters. We are all on the same side here. Yeah, what side is that? The side that stands for freedom. These are Americans who are not going to give up the fight against the Nazis or the Japanese. <laughs> Number three, there is no privacy. This is a good time. Rooms are bugged, phones are tapped. Frank, Frank, it's me. And surveillance cameras are everywhere. So what are we looking at? And finally, there's the films. But these aren't just any films. They show alternate outcomes of major world events. It shows us winning the war. Well, we didn't win the war. That's what they told us. What is this? Was hätte sein können? GIs and Times Square. No, I know they look real. Yeah, they look real because they are real. Lives are lost in the pursuit of these films. They are extremely important to Hitler, the Resistance, and the Japanese. We don't yet know where the films come from, but we do know the person who's been collecting them. You're him, aren't you? I'm Abinson, Hawthorne Abinson. I play Hawthorne Abinson, and yes, he's the man in the high castle. You don't ask questions, you answer them. Got it. Think of him as the caretaker and librarian. We don't know a lot about him other than he's collected thousands of films and he's definitely on the side of the Resistance. So you watch these films, you tell the Resistance what you learn about the people you see and the things. Things that could happen here too. Now let's meet the characters who are central to this story. <laughs> Juliana Crane was born in America and lives in San Francisco of the Pacific States. She's embraced the Japanese culture. Konnichiwa. And lives with her boyfriend, Frank. See you later. Frank Frank is an American with Jewish ancestry. As a Jew, you know I need no charges to order your death. He's a talented artist and works in a gun factory in San Francisco. We have to go on. What else is there? Joe Blake grew up in New York. His father is a high-ranking Nazi in Berlin. You're your own man now, yeah? Always been my own man. Joe is a spy for the Reich, a 
but it's unclear where his true loyalties lie. Why do you keep it for me, Joe? You have feelings for her? Ah. Over Group and Fuhrer John Smith <laughs> served in the American military during the war. Some wars are necessary. Now we have a better world. But is now a high-ranking Nazi commander in New York, charged with investigating the resistance. I'm told you have something very important to tell me. Nobusuke Togomi is the Japanese trade minister in San Francisco. His wife and son died in the 1950s. He is a man of peace. There comes a time when all men must bear the weight of their responsibility. Takeshi Kido is the chief inspector and head of the Kempei Tai, which is the Japanese military secret police. Inspector Kido. He is extremely dedicated to the empire. Whatever sacrifice is necessary. The story begins in San Francisco, when Juliana runs into her sister, Trudy. You're back. I I'm not staying. What's going on? I found the reason. The reason? For everything. <laughs> Trudy is a member of the Resistance, and she gives Juliana a film. Take this. What is this? A way out. But she is gunned down by the Kempe Tai. Juliana is heartbroken, but she takes on her sister's cause who the hell are you? I gave that satchel to Trudy. Where is she? She's dead. <sighs> Give me the film. Now I'm going in her place. And she journeys to the neutral zone with the film. Think of the neutral zone as a buffer territory between the greater Nazi Reich and the Japanese Pacific states. It covers the Rocky Mountains, but it's more like the Wild West. Let me see your ID papers. There aren't any cops around here, so the way I see it. While the region is politically neutral, it is a dangerous place, crawling with bounty hunters and vigilantes. What the hell are you doing here? There's also a strong presence of the resistance. I came to warn you. Joe Blake makes his way to the neutral zone from New York on an undercover assignment for the Nazis. I'll live there. He has one of the films, hoping it will give him access to the man in the high castle. That's when he meets Juliana. I'll buy you a drink? It's clear they have a connection. When am I going to see you again? And when Juliana becomes a target, <laughs> Joe steps in to help. Leave her the fuck alone. But after trusting Lem Washington, a member of the Resistance, Juliana's film is confiscated, as is Joe's. He returns to New York empty-handed, much to the displeasure of his superior, Obergruppenführer John Smith. You failed, Joe. Hey, Harry. Hey, Kyle. Life in the Reich might often look like mid-century America. You want to join the SS? I want to make my country proud. But it's far from it. What is that? Oh, it's the hospital. Tuesdays, they burn cripples, the terminally ill, drag on the state. Citizens are fiercely devoted to the cause. I like that. Supersonic rocket planes jet across the country. The old San Francisco in under two hours. Every year, Victory Over America Day is celebrated. To the most important job in the Reich. A woman's primary function is to bear children. There are more important things, aren't there? Not in the Reich. Motherhood is everything. And anyone considered quote unquote defective is eliminated. He'd be spared the ignominy of being a useless eater. Some people think that's an ugly phrase, you know, useless eater. I display a medal from your U.S. military service. I keep it as a reminder. The consequences of the failure of command. In 1947, Obergruppenführer John Smith witnessed the event that essentially ended the war. What is that? Now, as head of the Nazi command in New York... Sir, something you see. His position is a dangerous one. a target of the resistance and an attempt on his life sir you can't suspect me we've been through this reveals enemies within his party <laughs> blood on our hands yes we spill blood let's do it again take my family but above all john smith is fiercely devoted to his wife and children and he will do whatever it takes to keep them safe we all ready for the day ahead yes, yes father. father yes papa 
Smith's son, Thomas, has a disease that deems him unworthy by the Reich. This won't be easy for you to hear. Thomas didn't just pull a muscle wrestling over group and fewer. He had a tremor. What's the treatment? We're talking about a class A congenital disorder. There is no treatment. The doctor gives John Smith a choice. Absolutely painless. Kill Thomas or be reported to the authorities. You did the right thing. I know. <laughs> Smith takes another approach and kills the only person who knows about Thomas's condition. In the Japanese Pacific states, Americans are regarded as second-class citizens. Japanese go first! Eastern culture dominates the landscape. He's not so bad, you know. The Kempeitai keep close tabs on citizens, especially those involved with the resistance and the films. We are all subject to rules, Miss Crane, and if we fail to live by them, the consequences are severe. Frank Frank comes under scrutiny when his girlfriend Juliana leaves for the neutral zone. And now the Kempeitai want answers. Where is Juliana Crane? And when Frank won't talk, Inspector Kido goes after his family. My sister, her kids. The tragedy is a turning point for Frank. You are free to go. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm free to go! And he vows revenge against Kido and the Kempe Tai. You gonna take a shot at that cop? Just fucking leave! You do that, your life is over. It's already over. Juliana returns home from the neutral zone to San Francisco and makes a connection with the resistance. I hear there's a new film. Where'd you hear that? There's a guy looking for it, an operative from New York. Joe comes to San Francisco with a mission to find Juliana and the film for the Nazis. I'll get that. Just like old times, huh? Juliana believes Joe is still one of the good guys. So she brings him into the fold with the resistance. I didn't expect you. That puts us either. And together, they work to get the film from the Japanese mafia. You got the money? I got it. So what's the drill? We keep the money in your coat. Check it when you go inside the club, have yourself a drink. When you leave, the coat checker hands it back to you with the film inside the lining. Joe gets the film, but the exchange is aborted. It's a trap. The Kempe Tai are coming. And when the Kempe Tai raid the club, the resistance is left empty-handed. We got to get out of here. What about the film? The film is gone. Joe and Juliana have no choice but to flee with the film. The films we've seen up to this point reveal alternate versions of the past. However, this new film provides a possible glimpse into the future, one in which San Francisco is decimated by a nuclear bomb. It also shows Joe executing Frank, outing Joe as a Nazi. Ah. <coughs> Nazi. Tell me it isn't true. With Joe's identity revealed, Juliana agrees to lead him into a trap with the resistance waiting. I don't believe the film. I believe you. But after a change of heart, she allows him to escape with the film. What have you done? Why did you do it, Juliana? Juliana is public enemy number one to the resistance but she's the only one who's seen the new film. None of you watched that film. I did. You take me to the man in the high castle. Ask him if he wants to see me. I already did. So she's taken to see the man in the high castle. <gasps> puzzle. So many puzzles. Where am I? You answer my questions, Chicky, not the other way around. Hawthorne Abinson has a vast collection of films from various realities in different years. That's a whole movie. Fourth of July fireworks in Phoenix. Fourth of July in 1961. It's not possible. But it is. You're holding it. He grills Juliana about what she's seen. What about people? What about them? Did you see any after the explosion? Come on. One man in the film holds special significance. Who's this, Ma? His name is George Dixon. George Dixon. 
George Dixon is the estranged biological father of Juliana's sister, Trudy. He's a covert member of the resistance and quite possibly the key to averting a catastrophe. Every film where the Japs won the war, San Francisco is wiped out by an A-bomb. Everyone except this one, where this bastard dies as a Nazi in an alley somewhere. Locating Dixon may be crucial to saving thousands of lives. You missed the turnoff. The resistance group brings Juliana back to San Francisco, but one of them wants to eliminate her. Abinson said not to kill her. I don't care what happens, sir. You see his face now. I am not okay with that. Yet. Juliana escapes and goes on the run. With nowhere else to turn, she puts herself at the mercy of the Reich. My name is Juliana Crane. I work with Joe Blake. I need asylum. Mr. Washington, you about ready to go, Mr. Ray? The stack inside, would you bring it out for me, please? At the film vault, Abinson reduces his inventory. What about the rest of them? Nothing like a good spring cleaning. possess the data to build a Heisenberg device. Amid the chaos in the Pacific States, Japanese trade minister Nobusuke Togomi is focused on peace. If we strike with such a terrible weapon, you must know the Nazis will retaliate. Millions will die. And he is committed to preventing war by any means necessary. I'm all but certain you helped pass those plans to the science minister with that Nazi colonel. I wish for parity with the Nazis to balance the power, to maintain peace. Tagomi is a man of deep reflection, and his meditations enable him to travel to an alternate universe. Tagomi finds himself in the United States depicted in the film. It's 1960s Americana with capitalism in full swing. In this reality, the US won World War II and is enjoying freedom and prosperity. For Tagomi, his wife and son are alive. Michiko, wow, you're back. And it turns out his daughter-in-law is none other than Juliana Crane. Thank God you're all right. In this America, the U.S. is in an arms race with the Soviets. The United States continues to reinforce its Cuban base at Guantanamo Bay. Nuclear testing is taking place in the Pacific. Where did you get this? A journalist friend says it's a thousand times more powerful than the bomb we dropped on Hiroshima. Tagomi knows he must leave this world and head back to his reality. And he takes a film with him to hopefully save the world from destruction. Head height. 200 millimeters. Back in occupied America, Juliana may have defected to the Reich, but she quickly learns that admission isn't guaranteed. Left at 89. Exams, tests, questions, all to determine her worth. What's your blood area? I'm not sure. John Smith recognizes the value of Juliana's knowledge, so he ensures her entrance. Welcome to the Reich. From now on, your name will be Julia Mills. You're from Seattle. John's wife, Helen, takes it from there. Julia Mills, meet my better half, Mrs. Helen Smith. Providing Juliana with her own furnished apartment. It's cute. Complete with TV, phone, and 24-hour surveillance. Miss Mills? Juliana tells John Smith about the films she's seen, including the images of San Francisco being decimated by an atomic bomb. And members of the resistance being executed in the street by Nazis. Eventually, Juliana makes contact with the resistance in New York. Yes, I'm looking for an address, please, in Brooklyn for uh, George Dixon, D-I-X-O-N. After seeing George Dixon in the films, she now believes he holds the key to saving San Francisco. Hello? I hear you've been looking for me. 
from George Dixon. Juliana is still considered a traitor by the resistance. Sit beside me. And she'd be dead if not for Dixon. George. He demands she become an undercover operative, spying on the Smith family. We want you to get close to the Smiths and their friends. Why? Because my people are telling you to. It's the deal I struck with them to keep them from killing you. All right, Cinnamon. Yeah, I am. John Smith gets a visitor from Berlin. August Gruppenführer. What a surprise. Reinhard Heydrich is a high-ranking officer in the Reich. Thank you, Captain. He claims his trip is for pleasure. I'm going hunting in the morning. I'd be delighted if you would join me. But is soon discovered that Heydrich is behind a plot to kill Hitler. The world will change forever today. Now, it's simply a question of whether you are part of the future or the past. It appears that John Smith will be a casualty of Heydrich's plan. Are you with me? But he turns the tables and informs Hitler of the betrayal. Mein Führer, ich habe einen Verräter festgenommen. Heydrich is locked up. And John Smith runs a mock drill to con his prisoner into believing that Hitler is dead. And San Francisco is under attack. You won, Reinhardt. You won. The charade is all to find out who is behind the coup in the Reich. <laughs> Reinhardt, it's done. Thank you. Martin Hoisman is an engineer in the Reich, and he's also Joe Blake's biological father. Joe travels to Berlin to meet him for the first time. Herr Blake, Reichsminister Hoisman, grüßt Sie sofort zu sehen. Bringen wir das hinter uns. Hitler's health continues to decline. The Führer has ordered that I be named acting chancellor. And Hoisman wants Joe to stay in Berlin to work alongside him. There's a world of possibilities here for you. Get in. If you want them. Joe is hesitant at first. Yet I'm not sure you even believe in what the Reich stands for. I understand loyalty to a person, not a cause. But eventually warms to his father and decides to stay. Yeah, I guess this place could grow on me. Good, I'm glad. Joe is sworn in. Sigma. Sigma. Hitler dies. And Hoisman becomes the new Fuhrer. Harmonious Fuhrer. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler has passed away. In his first public appearance, he pins Hitler's death on the Japanese, claiming they poisoned him. Be assured that our vengeance will be swift and proportionate. His plan is to launch a nuclear attack on every major city in the world. There is only one master race. Therefore, the burden falls on us. What burden? To end mankind's constant state of war. So the real work, progress, perfection can finally begin by killing millions of people. While the Reich is preparing for war, the Smith family is crumbling. <laughs> Thomas's condition worsens. I don't know what you think you saw, but you're new here. And I want to make sure you understand how important it is not to jump to any conclusions. Helen, what I saw today was a sweet boy who's been overexerting himself. No confusion. Let's drink to that. Thomas confides in Juliana. Thomas. The conversation is taped and John Smith is alerted. Thomas, I don't know any more than you do. What I do know is that we all have flaws. My flaws are the kind that need to be eradicated for the good of everyone. You shown this to anyone else? No, sir. But the resistance obtains a recording of the exchange. This is the silver bullet. Now, Dixon holds evidence that would take down John Smith. We get this out to our pirate radio people. We don't have to assassinate him. The Nazis will execute him for us. So he forces Juliana to choose. <laughs> Stay back. Hey, put, put the gun down. It's, it's a disguise. You give me that fucking tip. In the end, Juliana can't bring herself to harm Thomas. By killing Dixon, she keeps the Smith family secret safe and John Smith's position in the party intact. In San Francisco, Frank is all in with the resistance, and this group wants to bring serious damage to the Japanese. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. Oh, fuck you. So they plant a bomb at the Kempe Tai headquarters, with Frank leading the charge. I'm your driver. I'm your bomber. I'm your man. Frank! Ah! 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 
Many die in the blast, but Kido survives and is now the first in command. Tagomi goes to Kido with the footage of the nuclear bomb testing. Our empire does not possess such a device. It is my intention to show this film to Ambassador Rice. Impossible. Impossible is not an option. Tagomi sees the film as the last hope to prevent war by using it to lead the Nazis to believe that Japan actually has a hydrogen bomb. We have a Japanese national in our custody. He claims he's here at your invitation. Kido brings the film to New York to appeal to John Smith. Both men realize the enormous stakes. The Empire did not assassinate your Führer. Our nations will go to war based on a lie. John Smith takes the film to Berlin. I need you to show this to your father. It's proof that the Japanese have the bomb. Along with overwhelming evidence identifying Hoisman as the mastermind behind the plot to kill Hitler. The Führer was not assassinated by Japanese agents, sir. He was poisoned by the same conspirator who, even now, is plotting to provoke a war against Japan. Come with me. Hoisman is arrested. What do you here for? Stellvertretende Kanzler Hoisman. Sie sind verhaftet wegen Hochverraterung und Ermordung unseres Führers Adolf Hitler. What the hell is going on? Your father is a traitor, Joe. John Smith stands before his party. <laughs> And as his family watches the event from home, Thomas is inspired by his father's actions and surrenders himself to authorities. Be proud of me. Tell father to be proud. No, 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 Thomas, Thomas. Thomas, you stay with me. You stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. At his home in San Francisco, Trade Minister Tagomi receives a visitor. Mr. Tagomi, I'm a friend of Juliana Crane. Can I have a word with you? And after escaping New York to an undisclosed location, Juliana finds Hawthorne Abbotson. Hello, Juliana. Waiting. You knew what would happen. You showed me that film and you knew. No, no, the only thing I knew was that you, Juliana Crane, the only hope any of us had. Dixon died in an alley, so that son of a bitch Smith could live. But San Francisco is still here. Millions of people will live because of the choice you made, the goodness in you, Juliana. I have no one left. I have nothing left. There's no way out. You're wrong. In her moment of deepest despair, Juliana discovers the impossible is possible. Hey, sis. <laughs> and what does this all mean? A sneak peek into season three sheds light on how Trudy and others like her can cross over from different worlds with the films. Who is she? We believe she came here from another world. What we've come to regard as a traveler. So you're saying that different versions of us exist in other worlds? Precisely. Across the multiverse. She's living proof. Same fingerprints. Same individual. Who has somehow learned to traverse the astral plane. She had this film with her when she was apprehended. Well, I have to say, this is uh, like something out of Frederick Brown, Doctor. Still theoretical. But we are making progress. Our physicists and engineers are working on mechanical means of travel to other worlds. Let me show you the rest of the... The Man in the High Castle and other Prime Originals are included with your Prime membership. 
Stream seasons one and two now. New season October 5th. If you are not a Prime member, start your free trial today. 